chances and Man. wears your heart on a sleeve. She's Man. crazy, but her crazy is beautiful to me. <laughs> This nigga just trying to stunt. Why you want to talk to me like that? You can't even that. start yet. Hey, hey. Don't hey. Like that. No, it does start like that. Hey, hey can't like even, that. I can't, we Why can't even start. Why you want to do me like that? Why are you talking to me like that? Uh, yeah. Bro, can you give me some good ass energy, bro? Yeah, it's, Honestly, it's uh, good, you're a cool dude who wears cool shirts. And that's how this interaction started, actually. Uh we have seen each other on social media and then we at these events a little bit too much, you know what I mean? Never really talked to each other. Yeah. Uh, and then we did the Zion I show and uh yeah. I just said what's up to you and then uh just said you had a nice shirt and you had a nice shirt. It's actually the shirt I think you were wearing on your album cover. Oh, the um I don't know, because you were just nah, 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 nah. It was it was a it was a different shirt. It was, it was a, a I had I had like a race car type shirt on. I can't that even night. remember now. Yeah, but yeah, I just remember yeah. I complimenting you on that and you're like, thanks, man, because I noticed you wardrobe changed because we were both there all day and shit. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, you ain't wearing the same thing. And I'm like, oh, look at the different thing you're wearing. Yeah, switch it up. Yeah, this nigga try to switch, switch it up it like up. fucking Prince right here. Hey. Fucking, we, I was on hey, my you side. See, hold on, hold on. And then we ain't even going. Like, because I'm a good front. host. Yeah, we ain't because even Because I'm front. a good host. I need this over here. I said, go ahead, bro. I go ahead and ball on you, cuz. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> go ahead bro. and be an icon, and that's cool, whatever. But man, I'm going to do my thing, you know what I mean? Stay in my life. <laughs> yeah, hey, I fuck with you, bro. But I'm going to ball on you, bro. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. I'm not even playing on the same court. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, so you have the song. Your most popular song, I would say, is what the like that. Obviously, right? Yeah, now. definitely that, like that. Because we Killer K and Price Ellis the remix, but you actually yeah. have an original version. Uh, yeah. What's that album called again? Uh, I almost I don't want to say it wrong. Go ahead. Uh, the album is called The Missing Piece. The Missing Piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. in the other one in 2018 was Mad Max. Mm-hmm. That was that yeah, one. facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Mad yeah, Max. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, but like the missing piece, like uh, I made a short film for it. Yeah. So like all of the original music that I created for it, there was like a different scene, and so like like that, like which was like the the most popular one. Like the scene in the film for like that was like me arguing with a girl. Yeah. Like so I know. see that on your videos and yeah. even like the things that you promote and post and you're very hands on with your visuals and uh promotion with the very nine. Uh and I mean you and your girl do that and I think that's yeah. hella tight too. Also yeah. shout out, yeah. So Yeah, very fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very shout fine out. and very yeah, nine. Shout out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think that's just like that's some dope, you know yeah. what I mean? Nah, for sure. That's what we're just trying to really do. Just have like a, a legitimate brand out here in the valley, like Very Nine. Like it's a bunch of different things under the umbrella of Very Nine, but like Very Fine, of course, is like the the female platform that we have too. So that's yeah. cool. Well, I see. Yeah, you definitely try to uh, involve a lot of the female energy in the vibes. Yeah, you know, you I mean? have to, and you even cater to uh, the sound. I think honestly, because you want to like vibe out and chill. Like I mean, even with your rap style and stuff. But the thing is, like. I like how you put it in there because like that uh, song Throne, the reason why I like it so yeah. much, you got a lot of songs on positivity and that's great. You know what I mean? And like, honestly, anyone who's an artist and like listens to FS Max, like literally like, like you, he's literally telling you, especially in Stockton, he's giving you very fine detailed things of just like what you're going to go through and like just, you know, simple, basic yeah, things. You're nah, not going out sure. there on like some interesting vernacular level you're yeah, just, yeah yeah you're just coming up some like you know good vibes yeah. you know but then you do that real. throne song with dj crazy chris kind of yeah. i like the i like the attitude there like you know what i'm saying yeah, i like no, i like songs like sure. like yeah I, I get bob to it but i ain't really dancing because i'm not like, getting hyped like those yeah. are the songs i like you know what i mean i know that's not always the vibe but i'm more of that vibe all the time i'm always like so like that song that sound stands out to me you know what i mean yeah. even though i can still dance to like why you want to you know what I mean? talk yeah. to me like that but nah, i like the i appreciate throne. it yeah, bro. So nah. like I appreciate that shit. Yeah, Throne, uh, my little brother, Reese, Reese Bees, he's like a producer out here, yeah. but he produced that song. <laughs> but um, yeah, I had DJ Chrissy Chris on the chorus. Shout out to my nigga. Shout out to DJ but, Chrissy Chris. Um, yeah, I like that it was like a higher energy type of song. Like that was like another thing that I wanted to like bring to like the, the soundtrack is like more energy because like people don't really like know the different range of like things that I can do as far as like, you know, the type of music. Um, Cause like the like that is of course like a R and B like yeah. 
pop. It's really like a pop song. Like that's what it. That's what it really I mean, is. You're that's singing what. Into that's your what yeah. Like, no, you're singing, and but like if you really listen to the lyrics, it's like really poppy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But like it's cool because yeah. I I'm intentionally making that. Yeah, like, that's. You know what but I'm saying? you can tell you're doing that, and I think yeah. I don't know. To me, I could tell that because you're doing a song like that. Maybe because I also heard you before, but honestly, when I heard you making that song, seeing that video and everything, I could tell you're intentionally making it and you're setting it up for the songs like Throne and stuff like that. They mean so much more. Like same thing with it makes that song so much more like that because it's just like. Oh, he's just on a different, you know what I mean. Mine, he's on. I keep. I hate when I, every time I say, you know what I mean. I yeah, nah, nah. Now. I feel it. No, no, uh, I understand, bro. Uh, but let me, let me let me uh, uh, let me grab myself. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, you for sure was like, oh, I'm done. I'm done smoking this. So I'm done. Like, uh, yeah, nah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then we smoked a vacuum. We got it, bro. We got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But um, what was I going to say? Uh, it's just like the uh, the two mind specs perspectives, even though there's even more personalities and perspectives of like what you rap on. But I mean, you keep the same message and vibe, but I can see when that energy is different, you, you form to it that way. Because like even the new song that you have, you say it's like a runway song. Yeah, front door. Yeah, uh, front, front door, door is really like a, a techno song. Like if you listen to my new song, front door. What I want you to do is look, pause this, open the song, front door on whatever streaming platform that you have, and like play the song. Close your eyes and think that you're like in a Russian nightclub, and it's like, <laughs> or you're in like a a, a nightclub on a, an underground Norwegian building, and it's like a techno scene, like. It's some pop shit. It's definitely some pop shit. It's some runway shit, some model shit. Play that your model. That shit. Think about yeah, if yeah, you're in uh, Montreal, Canada. Yeah, no, in the for snow sure. in January. Yep, outside and, lounge. And you just got done at Igloo Fest. Mm, and then Igloo go went Fest. out to the bars. And then you went over <laughs> and had, and you drove up and pulled up to a neighborhood, something like a cul de sac. Yeah. Out there. And then you, you walk into a house <laughs> and there's lights everywhere. And you decide to get naked with your friends and dance. Nah, and, keep your clothes on. And everyone's accepting. Keep your clothes on. But yeah. <laughs> I'm just talking about what I did. That's hella funny. <laughs> I literally but did that. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> Shout out to Montreal. Oh, shit. No, I didn't, I didn't take all my clothes off. We just took our shirts off because we were American. Damn. And shit was hot as fuck because they took the heaters nah, off. Nah, that's fire. And shit. Nah, that's and fire. We all took our shirts off. But then the other, other people started taking their shirts off. <laughs> even <laughs> girls. Even women. It was tight. It was like a universal thing. Yeah, right, but, yeah, it was, it was cool. tight though. Yeah, girls was taking their shirts off and dancing. Um, shit, what was, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but yeah, about that song, like, yeah. um, like of all of, like the new songs that I have coming out this year in 2020, like that was the first song that I decided to like release because of you know the type of song it is. Um, you know, the promotion that we did along with it, we just trying different marketing strategies, like reaching out to different businesses, like getting coupon codes for like oh, different yeah, businesses. Too, yeah. uh, just trying to like create more incentive for people to kind of like work together on a business level. And interaction. Um, yeah, you know, definitely. kind of like the interaction now. Like the, what the song means is so much more. A lot of people are making songs, but can you like sell me a movement, you know? Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Um, that's why like, as far as like the direction that we're taking as far as pushing the movement it's it is like to the consumer it is to like you know people to vibe out to like what we're doing but like it's also to like create like a strong business like relationship like a, a strong business network yeah uh, have those connections yeah like get help wherever you yeah, can get for it sure. you know what i mean and like they help you help them they help you, you yeah know I mean? because it's like when you go somewhere like and when you go to like these events and shit like that and you're like an artist and like if you don't go there thinking about like who owns this place, like, like what can I potentially do here? Like, you what know, can I bring to the what, table? what can I bring to the table? I got to meet this person, like, because maybe I can do something here for my yeah. project that I have, or you never know, like, yeah, yeah, you know, at least so, bring it into existence, talk about it, write it down on paper, make it become yeah. a goal, you know. You gotta, you gotta ask people, like, you yeah. gotta make sure it happen, like, make the podcast happen, like. Yeah, bro. You I need to make this show ask. happen. I'm getting hella scared, but I'm about to do it. It's for my 30th birthday. I want to throw a party it's at this, but it's at a winery. You know do what I'm it. saying? And do it'll be it. like 12 to 6. I just want people to come in performing. Like, it's it's free. Everybody come and just drink and kick it. It's just, I just want to have everybody there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, just at, at this point, like in life and what, like, what's going on, like, 
Yeah. When you have your birthday, when that shit go down, like everybody yeah. that comes there is supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you, but, yeah, that's I'm that's a night. That. I'm like, I'm, bro, I'm about to yeah. rent this mansion out, and I just want y'all to see me ball. But we can have fun, and I'm gonna have yeah. videos and songs. I just don't know if the winery will let me play all these music and shit. Like, what are they about? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I just gotta ask, Damn. but maybe yeah. they don't want to trip because I'm like, bro, it'll be cool. Got it'll be cool. And can sing too, you know? It's like, what the fuck? Rebel activity, bro. Rebel activity. <laughs> Oh man, I'll I'll keep it clean at least a little bit. You know, it's my birthday though. Let me wild out yeah. two hundred nine drinking. Nah, you got to, you got to. Uh, so here, Buy right here, let me, here's a question of one of my four. I'll just bring it up right now, and then maybe we can get back into something else. But uh, yeah. Uh, here's my. Uh, it's not even a question. It's more of like you finished the sentence. You know, like the GGN, like Snoop Dogg tells you something, but this is more specific. You know? Yeah. So okay, so finish the sentence. Uh, so, you know, you're in Stockton when. You see a nigga with a whole bike on his head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I ain't going to lie. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I see him in Target. I fanned out. Yeah, I took a, pic- yeah. I took a picture Yo! with him and everything because yeah, yeah. I think he had a fake designer shirt on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's oh, why I was like, I was like, fake yeah, bro. hey. Damn. Shout out to Michael. Damn. Um, but yeah, I, I seen him in Target and I fanned out. I for sure took a picture with him. But like... I don't know, like he. That's the only I've only seen that in Stockton, like, and he be having other shit on his head too. Yeah. I seen that, like, it's crazy, like, it's a talent. What like, brings this back up too? Because uh, to uh, Steve Spiffler, you actually did a podcast with Steve Spiffler. Yeah, like back when I was like doing my podcast, I had uh, Steve Spiffler on as like one of the guests. And wasn't he, the first yeah. one? It was uh, and good face freestyled on the very yeah, first yeah, time. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it was it was one Call of the first dude, ones. Like, Yo, check the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was one. It was one of the first ones that I did. It was like the downtown. Yeah, okay. um, but yeah, that's my that's my guy, Steve Spiffler. He came, uh, had his like little NPC thing. Yeah, yeah. And he was like playing beats and shit. Um, and it was like me, Devious. Devious was there. Yeah, yeah, I saw, Goodface, yeah I remember. Yeah, Devious, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was cool. Like that, that was back when I was like doing my podcast. That was like blog four thing. years ago or something. Yeah, it was like 2016. 2016. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 2000, research, 2016. <laughs> back, back, back when I was doing that. Uh, Let me see the other videos. I yeah. didn't see. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. It always every time I do that, I realize that art has been doing stuff longer than like so much longer, man. Than, yeah. Like, it's ridiculous, huh? Just how far like things yeah. Have come I'm just trying to like yeah. I'm just trying to like think like just think about like when specifically like when it started like when did you start doing the music and stuff? Shit, I've been doing music for like over ten years, really. Yeah, just like but I didn't really start like pushing a hard lines until like I was like you know 18 19 okay like you yeah, know, i'm yeah. 25 now so oh, yeah okay for sure yeah i'm still young so yeah. um but like when I, I like when i was like in elementary school like i had a laptop that had fl studio on it and like yeah. i was trying to make beats and like i stopped because like my attention span, I didn't want to like listen to the same fucking sound like over and over again. Like, oh, it was for just the hella... attention span, that's what, yeah, that's what I was saying about yeah, the beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, my nah, mom was like, yeah, I feel you. you just do it, man. Like, man. Freaking, uh, you know, uh, Biggs from uh, Amelia Brethren, uh, he w- he mm-hmm. was always rapping and shit. And then he was telling me, get all the Fruity Loops. And like, I didn't know how to do it. And he, I think he showed me or told me how or what. I don't even know. Because yeah. we were young, I don't even remember. I think you, maybe you just had to push a button. I didn't even know. But anyway, I downloaded. I tried to do beats on there when I was like in high school, and I was like, "What the?" It's fuck? hard. You, you for sure gotta have like a certain attention span because like just listening to all through different sounds, bro. And it, and I got ADD, bro. So fucking, I just fucking go, "Oh, what's this sound?" And then now I'm making a whole new beat, pretty much. And I'm yeah. like, I guess I can create my because I create writing that way. Like I'll go fucking write like 16 to like, but I write so much more than like what I produce making the beats. I guess you just gotta put more time into it. But yeah, that and that's that's what it is. Yeah. You gotta like kind of. I feel you. That's why I didn't make beats for like so long because like that whole listening to the same thing over and over again is hella irritating. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't even not know. the irritate thing. It's just like like I said, bro. Going through that. There's a yeah, lot going, of sounds. Yeah, going through going through sounds. So many sounds yeah, now. going through sounds. But like, you just kind of like gotta slap shit on. Like yeah. you kind of just gotta know like the base of like how you want to lay lay it down. Like if you want claps, hi hats. Like yeah, you, yeah. you you want you want a kick. Like if you want a bass, then it's just like, all right, you know all that shit that you want. So you just gotta like plug in that yeah. that stuff that you want. But like 
like I feel you. Like I didn't start making beats seriously until like November two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So like, and I just got like hella drafts, and like I got like now I probably have like three beats that I feel comfortable like, like putting out, putting out, rapping, rapping on, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. or or, or giving yeah, to somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, um, but you got a bunch of other shit. But that's what it takes. You know what I mean? Putting that time in and everything. Yeah, because I was doing it for a little bit, and then. uh it was just got like I was like some of the beats I liked them, but and I, I just wanted to rap on them. I was like I could like you know what I mean or some I don't yeah. know I don't know man beats you're making me want to do it now. I'm like how can yeah. I fit this in my schedule? Just like I can nah, it's cool. Know. It's cool. Like, Cause I do writing inspirationally now because I could just do it off top all the time. So I need yeah. something to like want to talk about or just like some bullshit rap shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can just rap about anything. You know. <laughs> it's just about it's just a tool. Like right now, like yeah. it's just about like kind of just like gathering all these different tools like if i can like add being a producer like to my skill set like i bring something else when i go to the studio like you know what i'm saying like yeah. i have drafts or like i can like yeah it's maybe a sound to give work some type of. of yeah i can give some type of like input on like what to do or yeah. like you know it's not i'm not just like waiting for it to be made or i'm not just like waiting or you know what i'm saying but it's like mm-hmm. a process like it's for yeah, sure definitely. like a process like I'm trying to get back into like fully functional, like just recording myself and mixing again. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. I was saying like I I started with the the laptop. Yeah, with the FL. But oh, like, the loops, but yeah. like, yeah, but like, I started like really like mixing for like other people. Okay. Like, yeah. When I was like 18, like okay. uh, in Tracy, because that's where I'm from. Okay. Um, but like I was doing that off of FL, so like that's how I got real familiar off of it. I wasn't like making beats off of FL. I was just like mixing vocals off of FL. Okay. So like I was like doing that, and I was doing it for myself. So like just after years of kind of like self recording, and like I'm like, all right, I need to start going to the studio. That's when I start going to the studio. But um, but yeah. Okay. Uh, music so is cool. Music, gonna, music is cool. If you were gonna, uh, <laughs> if you were gonna create, no, yeah, that was a great thing to say, bro. Yeah. You had a great, yeah. I mean, like it, that's how a lot of people fall into things. You know, what I mean, I just was hanging like right now how I am in the scene. I guess like I just hang out with a bunch of people who are creatives, and then I started creating. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I'm always been, I kind of never really exposed myself to being creative or whatever. But hey, if, speaking about creating, yeah. if you were gonna create the best concert, three to five people, if you're gonna create, like if you're about to have a show, who would you want on that show, dead or alive? Dead. That's, one, that's the second one. That's Dead second or alive? You said three to five people. Yeah, three to five. Like, cause you know, concerts you're only gonna really get like three to five hours, right? Of time, pretty much five hours. Five hours of time. Show starts at what, like eight? You know what I mean? We're going to two, four, yeah, eleven, eleven thirty. So five hours. So you got five, three to five. Dang. I have to see Kendrick live because I never, I never seen Kendrick. But it's not you, even you could be on the show. Like you're, oh, you're I selling have to be out on the, the show, show. And, we'll, and I'll pick a place like the Shoreline Amphitheater. Okay, well, obviously I'm not the opener on this show. You're not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a perform, but I'm not the opener. So, oh, you're like, gonna do it, but you're not yeah. gonna open. You're gonna be the first one. Nah, nah that's bad. Nah, nah. Um, I'd have Andre three thousand. <laughs> He's opening. <Yeah. laughs> Nigga, who the fuck you got on this fucking? All right, go ahead. We got Andre three. I think I'm confused with no, the question. That's no, no, probably no, why. You're gonna create, no, That's it, like it a be point. either or. You like you can do like uh, you can perform. You don't have to perform. It's up to you. It's whatever you want to. Do. But if you're creating, all right, yeah. If I'm creating a show that I'm yeah. like, I'm like involved, go, tell me about it. Bro. Yeah, all right. You can so tell me like, other things too, but I need these three to five people, bro. We need to hit them up. I need to get them right, for look, you. What are right, they? Good. Dead or alive? We can regenerate them. All right, here we, we got go. a bunch of technology for you. I didn't understand the question. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't understand the question at no, first. All right, all right. Being, so I'm, I'm not performing on this fucking show. You don't want to do it? Nah, 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 nah. I'm performing. Nah, because right like, if you're, if, if you're asking bro. me what the budget I'm on, is, I'm the host. I'm the host. If you asking me what the budget is, I'm, I'm about to budget. give you. I'm about. You just said like you got the budget for me. I'm it's about an to unlimited give you some budget. People. It's a. Uh, it's an unlimited budget. budget. Yes. All right. It's good. It would be. Andre three thousand has to be on the show. Got you. Currency has to be on the show. All right, so we got Currency, Andre 3000. All right. Gucci has to be on the show. Gucci. What? But he has to perform songs that have Young Thug on them, so it's kind of like a steal. 
so Young Thug has to come too. So. Okay. Don't they have like an album together? Or like a yeah, they, they have multiple. They have to perform off oh, the leash. So they can perform yeah. at the same time. They get, we'll give them an album. All right, that's yeah. cool. So that's three. Um, man. Jodeci, but the 90s version of Jodeci. So we're going to bring him back to Jodeci, that one. Okay, that's tight. All right. So wait, so let's go through it. Okay, we got Young okay. Thug, Jodeci. Young Thug, Jodeci. Currency, Andre 3000. Gucci. Gucci. Yeah. All right, we got one more if you want. If you don't, it's up to you. And you're not performing? I'll jump up there. <laughs> hmm. I'll jump up with Jodeci. I'll be like making fun. I'll be introducing niggas and everything. Nah, because I want to I wanna like... Just Take in that energy, like that's crazy. That would be crazy to like see all that. Like, and what better way with the microphone doing your own shit with these niggas, bro? Fucking be like, hey, yo, nigga, I'm coming out here singing with Jodeci. Fucking over. Dang, I'm trying. To, I'm trying. I'm trying. My to think. show. What, anybody else? Or that's it. That's a pretty dope show, bro. Who's opening? That is though? a dope ass show. Jodeci. Dang. Fucking currency. I'm opening the show. You're opening the show. Yeah, that'd be dope. You see. You just said at the very beginning you weren't opening the show. I lied to you. (laughs) I had to know who all was going to be there first. (laughs) All right, here's another question. That's hella funny. Uh, If you were, what Brad Pitt do you think you are out of any films? Like, what Brad Pitt would you be out of all the films of Brad Pitt? Damn. Brad Pitt. All right, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is not Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. And he, and he's we not. We could do Leonardo DiCaprio. He's not Matt I'm Damon. doing Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's one of my faves. No, nah, Leonardo DiCaprio, that's that's my favorite actor. Yeah. Like, one of them. But for I don't sure. want to be him, bro, because he's all out of shape now, bro. I want to be Brad Pitt, bro. Brad Pitt? I'm trying to think. Brad Pitt. Um, um, Mr. and Miss Smith, that was yeah, cool. Yeah, Mr. and Miss Smith. Yeah, that bro, was cool. You want me to go down um, to the discography? You want me to yeah, go yeah. Let's right, so tell, they, tell yeah, me something. Tell yeah, me something. Glorious so ba- Bastards, Quentin Tarantino, Glorious Bastards. I didn't see that movie, but I I know I know that okay, movie. Okay, damn. Okay, he killed like Hitler and shit. All right, but anyway, <laughs> help, he help. Hitler. But uh, <laughs> uh, you got uh, I know uh, Once Upon one. a Time in Hollywood. I know there's one. You got uh, Mr. and Mr. Smith. You got Mr. Black or whatever. He was like a fucking like. He didn't do any like Mission Impossible. No, it's Tom Cruise. It's Tom Cruise. God damn, nigga, you racist as fuck. It's not Nicolas Cage. (laughs) (laughs) It's National Treasure. I thought Brad Pitt was fucking damn, bro. Brad Pitt's pretty popular, bro. Nah, but the um, what's that? He's got a lot more better movies. He was in Babel. He was a good movie. Babel. There we go. You, that's you, a you good bad, ass bad, bad, bad that's a, Brad Pitt. That's a good that's ass That's dope because I thought about it. See, me, I want to be Once Upon movie. a Time in Hollywood, Brad Pitt, but I think I would honestly be the burn after notice, Brad Pitt. Oh, there's Ocean's 11 and 12 and 13, Brad Pitt. Damn, this nigga know. Hello, Brad Pitt. Yeah, he was a cowboy in one Hello, and hello shit. versions of Brad Pitt. Yeah, think about all the Brad Pitts, man. Damn. Oh, Fight Club, Brad Pitt. Damn, I wish you would have said that first. Uh, I, but you're I bad with bad print now, bro. I, I, nah, nah, no, nah, 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 bad nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Don't talk about which one I am. That's the rule. That's the number one rule. I can't it's talk about it. It's all the bro. <laughs> can't talk about it. Uh, That's hella funny. You want the last question? Oh, let's go last question. All right, go. What's the last question? It's, the, it's my last fourth question. We can talk more, but uh, the uh, last fourth question is top three Michael Jackson songs. Dang. Remember the time. Oh, that's my shit, nigga. Billy Jean. Ooh, Billy. Billy Jean. Just a girl. And you rock my world. You rock my world. Yeah. You rock my world. You know you did. Good ass mix. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Damn, damn, that was really good. Hey. Hey, everybody, give me a shout out in the comment section if you really like that that freestyle of the Michael Jackson uh, playlist. <laughs> uh, the Michael Jackson playlist. That yeah, was cool. mine is actually, you got two of mine in there. Uh, is I uh, remember the time because I like the video with Magic Johnson, Eddie Murphy, the video. He fucking yeah, turned, the videos, the like, videos were like, sick. You know, remember yeah. the time when we fell in love. You remember Can you dance? The time. Can you dance? Remember my baby. Love that. 
Uh, what was the other one? Uh, you rock my world. That was tight. Chris Tucker video. With Chris one, Tucker, like, yeah. That was like more like around the time I was actually like into girls and stuff because all the other shit was older. You know what I mean? And I was like, he said better. that's when I was like really into girls. So. Yeah, like I was like older and was able to like so like remember the time came out. I was like, yeah, I, I was like looking at girls different. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Remember when we was at lunch, bitch? No. <laughs> you sat next to me. No. <laughs> Remember and then my uh, uh, butterflies. Butterflies. Yeah. You give me butterflies. Dang. Inside, inside. Oh, you got. Why you keep? Why you keep stunting on me with singing with well, the with the renditions? Uh, I want you to join. Right. Won't go away and pass me by. Dang. No. I don't even know. <laughs> I suck at singing, bro. Dang. So. um what was I gonna say? Am I able to ask you a question? Yeah, bro. I, I, no what? one asks me questions. I hardly ever. Yeah, what, where did you get these patches from? On uh, your I got these from Burning Man. These two from Burning Man. Uh, actually, one of these years I didn't go. I didn't go this year. I went 2019, but I didn't go this 2018 year right here. But I still got the patch. I didn't. I don't know where my 2019. Patch Damn, is. I remember talking to you about that shit. That yeah. that Burning Man shit. Yeah, and then I got uh, my baseball patches. And then I got, this is a, a patch from a friend. He actually got me this one too, Drake's. What you playing uh, baseball? Huh? What you playing baseball? Center field. Yeah, this is, oh, these are some of my high school patches. Some of them are on my varsity jacket, but then I never got them. Because like my senior year, I didn't get my patches until like after I graduated. Because baseball, like at, after I got my... Jacket. I made varsity. It wasn't. Early. It wasn't cool to make it early because I got go, I got my shit like junior year, nigga. I got. I was a sophomore year, nigga. I got patches. Damn. Nigga. So I just had some leftover ones, and then this one's from like when I was a kid. And then look, bro, I got patches for days, bro. I got. And these are my new ones. The next ones that are gonna go on here. See this? Yeah. This is actually. These are two military ones. This is actually a real, real one, and I think this is just someone who bought it. But this was used. And it's an Alaskan in World War Two. My grandfather this was is, in that. This is fire. My grandfather was in the Ala uh, Alaska uh, during the I World War I fuck with the whole patch wave. That that shit's so, like know. that's tight. <laughs> Dang. So hey, so I have a real question. <laughs> what? <laughs> are you are you like uh, are you like in competition with your dad going in twenty twenty? For what? For for the top spot of what? Because your dad is out here. Of the most followers and shit. Man, I get your dad's out here. He's out here, I think, he, here, I think man. he's more he's famous here. and popular. And That's likeable. what I'm trying to tell you. He's out here. <laughs> uh, I think he's better looking. I think he's bigger, That's stronger, funny. faster. Uh, I think he's smarter. I think he's uh, a great guy. I'm way more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I feel that. Hey, I feel that same way. Hey, hey, I feel the same way. That's the only thing that keeps me. That's the I feel the same going, way. Man. I feel the same way. Same thing with my sister and my mom. I'm like, man, you guys are great people. Yeah. But you know what? No, what I do better than all three. <laughs> yeah. Hey, shout out to my pops, FSS Media. Hey, yeah, I do not run FSS Media. All right. Yeah, if, yeah, if you, if you see anything on the that. internet, like I, I, I don't run FSS Media. My dad runs FSS Media. He's one of like you know. The he's the biggest supporter of like everything that I'm doing basically, but like he's been running that platform ever since I've been doing FSS visuals. That's why it's called FSS Media. Oh, what's why is it FS anyway? <laughs> what's FS? Media? All right, so all right, so yeah, so like my whole like brand of like you know what I do, like you know the definition of like my vibe is like future sounds. So it's like oh, future it, sounds, Max. Uh, no, nah, it's like no, nah, it's like future sounds. It's like the brand and it's like uh it means like the way music should sound now like okay. but like uh future sound studio was kind of just like how future sound studio is like the fss like it's confusing uh, i know it's it's confusing no, I, I, i'm gonna I'm explain not confused, nigga. you got a, one's a studio yeah 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 yeah, the, yeah. Future sounds, like future, future, future sound studio i named it future sound studio because like future sounds was my brand and like my music but like i was engineering and doing a whole bunch of stuff so like i considered it like this my studio, studio so it's like yeah. future sound studio so yeah. it's like and then once i started doing like blogging and like doing like shows and shit like that having open mics and like uh really doing like that online promotion shit like it was called fss visuals like yeah. that's why it's like fss but like you know i don't do the whole blogging shit anymore so i just kind of drop one s <laughs> yeah. 
But it might come back, bro, whenever you have But yeah, no, nah, it'll come back. Once I'm at a point to where like I can have a studio, it's going to be called Future Sound Studio. Yeah, like, I see so how you like, can see when you're yeah. doing stuff like that. That's just what happens, bro. When you get better and then when you just have more opportunity and just more... Uh, just, I don't know, you get better at your craft, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to get something better and everything. When you when you make a song, like at least when I make a song or do anything, like this podcast, bro, like eventually I'm like, all right, we got to do something different. We got to do something better. You know what I mean? You want to yeah. do yourself from the last time. And you have some very dope quality products. So I, I would just it. imagine what you do in the future to get better and do better and, you know, make it bigger. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm really just focused on right now. Like 2020, just like as far as like all the new projects that we got coming, like the new music, like the new project, Proper Vibes, the new like Very Nine shirts that are coming out very soon. Uh, the very nine black stickers and the very Stockton stickers that are out right now, tap in. Um, but just trying to like expand, do more brands like very Stockton, very Tracy, very Manteca. I saw that, yeah. Like just because I'm doing like, you know, we're doing a whole lot more than music really because it's like, yeah, I'm doing like music and like all this stuff on this side. But like another thing is like I'm really trying to like build this brand like that's why, like, you know, my girl, we have, like, this female thing. We, like, are involved with, like, fashion shows, like, photo shoots. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Um, I do, like, a lot of, like, video projects. You're like creating a um, lifestyle brand, bro. Yeah, and, like, it's a very nine, very tool nine. Like, I got that, shit, a, yeah. I got that shit tatted on me. It's, like, a new... I got Rebel to Activity tatted yeah, on me. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's just a new representation of, like, you know, where you come from and, like, what yeah. you represent. And it's, yeah, like, man. it's not a limitation. Like, that's, no. that's like, a, that's that's like a small hate, mindset. Bro. When people yeah. like, but I used to be like that when I was young. But then after I go out there into the world and realize, like, it's not even like I could have lived somewhere else, but I just chose not to because I'm just like, I don't feel comfortable here. This ain't well. Yeah. This is, I love and appreciate like being born here. And I don't know, yeah. about, I don't know if I'll live here forever, but I mean, I wouldn't mind it, you know, yeah. I mean? as long as I get comfortable, get the things that I want, and I'm, com- you know, I'm comfortable. But you know? a lot of people have like different, like, you got to understand, like, a lot of people have, like, different goals and shit like that. Because yeah. it's like, you know, I do shit for, like, you know, things like, I know when I was making music, like, coming up in Tracy, there wasn't, like, anybody locally that was doing that shit that I could look to. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, oh, uh, that's a good oh, example. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I think about, like, that's, that's how I'm trying to, like, put myself in that position to, like, kind of... Like in the next ten years, like somebody, a black kid coming up from Tracy trying to like do music, it's like, oh damn, like Max from Tracy, like yeah, he yeah. from here, like you know what I'm saying? He be out here, he be in Stockton all the time, like he be in Tracy, like in Modesto, in, yeah, Ma- in Manteca, here, like yeah. it's like a whole two and nine thing. Like it's cool to be from the two and nine. It's not fuck the two and nine no more. Yeah, like yeah. it's or cool. Like I a fuck lot with that. Look like, at it like that, and they don't yeah. like the, they think they don't like the negative connotations from things yeah. and stuff. But I'm like, yeah, those negative things those show how strong we are too. And like, yeah, you know what I mean? so but it's funny because it's positive. like a lot of people is like not grown too. So it's like. Like, so yeah, you know, people, yeah, people, people <laughs> yeah, it's like, because like, think about it, like all, all this stuff that we talking about, like all this music shit, like that's cool. But then one, what, what you got to do to support it? Like, if you probably got to have a job, like you got to be able to operate, you got to yeah. be able to do that shit, like to fund it. Um, it's so it's like you thinking you trying to just move to LA or you just trying to move to San Francisco to just because you you trying to make it like you got to think how you going to survive like you comfortable you can survive like you got to figure it out like what you got like that's why like a lot of people think you got to like move out of here to be successful I think to a degree you have to move out there but Stockton's a commuter commuter city bro so it's real easy to get in and out I mean yeah you got to leave early and drive and stuff I mean unless you're really getting some lucrative cash or Skrilla you know what I mean like just put I put the drive bro I drive all the way to the bay and weld bro you know what I mean wake up at four in the morning just to get to work well when I like well, when I, and that's another thing, like a lot of people do think I'm from Stockton. So, like, when I do talk about it, like, you know, they sometimes think I'm talking about it from like a Stockton standpoint. Like, um, you know, I do live out here right now, but like, when I talk about like just being out here and being like working out here and like repping and like doing things out here, it's like this whole area. It's like, like a whole county. Like, it's like Modesto. It's like, no, yeah, it's like Tracy, but it's like, um, 
But you just said, like, it's a real good area to live in. Like, it's a commuter area. This whole area, like, when you want to go to the Bay Area, it's not that far. You want to go to SAC, it's not that far. Like, you want to... Bro, and then, you know know what? And then when I'm on my off days, I get to chill in a place that's not too crowded. Because Stockton is getting kind of crowded, but it's not overly crowded. Like, the Bay Area, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? There's too many people there. I feel... uh, I feel uh, I'm just, you know, uh, claustrophobic. You yeah. Know what I mean, like, small, t- don't get me wrong, I love it out there, but I can only really yeah. take it for so much because, like, I'm, again, I'm from the valley, you know what I mean? I like the space, you know what I mean? But yeah. I like my, how, I mean, north side, nigga, I like strawberry fields across the street, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know everyone thinking I'm Lodi, nigga, but fuck you, nigga. I'm he out said here that doctor, people bro. think I'm from Lodi. <laughs> Shit. Damn. Like, it, bro. He said, "Nigga, you said that that's the only thing I get a comment on right now. Nigga, you in Lodi from I see you with <laughs> Damn, this thing are you from Lodi? A lot of people agree, but some people don't. But I don't know. Shit, like, people, yo, hey. like Bear Creek, the Lodi Unified District. <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, look at it this way. It's crazy. Niggas from Lodi. Hey, just know it's gonna be young black niggas from Lodi trying to have a podcast, bro. Yeah. Hey, they, they gonna be like, is there hey, that, out there? No, I'm scared. <laughs> Hey, think about your market, bro. Think about your market. Think about your market, bro. No, I'm just kidding, man. Shout out. I'm, I'm That's leading the funny. way, nigga. That's hella funny. Uh, so, anything, way, bro, uh, what do you want to uh, end the podcast on, man? That was a good podcast. We had a good talk. I'm glad I, we talked. Shit. Oh, yeah. We're going to get yeah. the studio and shit eventually. Yeah, you know nah, I mean? for sure. We're going to blow some mad weed, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. blow some weed. I'll smoke, um, more. I'll smoke more weed there. I don't like smoking too much on the podcast. But shit. Um, yeah, just check out. Oh, yeah, you want me to like tell people what to check out? Check out what's stuff. out. All you right. said you got stickers out. You got FS. Visuals, All right, let me get back into my FS Ooh. Studios. Ooh. FS. All right. uh, he's running for a campaign, everybody. Yeah. Lifestyle. So, all right. Very Make nice. sure you check out my website first and foremost, tv9c.com, the very nine company.com. Uh, check out the Missing Peace short film. It's out now on YouTube. Check out the Missing Peace original soundtrack out now on all platforms. Check out the newest single, Front Door, produced by Reese. Oh, check yeah. out the Like That remix mm. by uh, with Price Ellis and Kelly K. <laughs> check out the Like That video. <laughs> You've been pointing the whole hey, time, and I didn't say nothing to me. <laughs> check out, check out. Um, just, just check me out. Just check, check him just, out, man. Just check me he's out. A great dude, he's gonna be here for. A yeah, long I'm time. not. I'm not trying to be too in your face with it, but like, we're here to stay. It's not, <laughs> it's not just right now. So we yeah, appreciate but no, you. Definitely, he's a great listen. He's gonna have quality stuff every time you. You know what I mean? When I can't wait for like I'm saying, like check out the like video, like that video, and you'll know what the fuck, and go from there. That's what I would yeah. say. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there's a lot of creativity coming from this young gentleman, this young man. And, appreciate you, um, bro. Thank you again. I was on the Harmon Warhol podcast. Yeah. Hey, and That's without good. you, there is no me. And that goes to all my lovers, listeners, and friends. Thank you. Blah. Thank you. Hey, what it is? It's Harmon Warhol. Hey, click all the links aside next to me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram. Do something. Please show love. Hey, and get love back. Thank you.